Hi, and welcome to Talking Tech. I'm your host, Alejandro Rojas, and today we're here at ITT 2025 at Phoenix, Arizona, in which we're talking about our latest architecture, Panther Lake. And today we have Craig with us. Hey, Craig. Hey, Alex. Thanks for having me, man. I know. Great to see you again. You know, you, Always you, a pleasure. I know, I know. I think you probably already have tenure with us by now. I, I've been here a bit. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but always down to show some cool demos. So no. uh, we want to give you an introduction of the newest Agenta capabilities yes. that we have on our AI I mean, suite. That's the buzzword, so let's go for it. Well, let me go ahead and, and introduce you to AI Assistant Builder. If you guys aren't familiar with this, it's a first party from Intel open source piece of software. You guys can download it today. Oh, yeah, so, GitHub, and right? it's completely free off of GitHub or the AI Assistant Builder website. And all you do is go to the website, you pick the model that you would like, and it downloads it into an EXE which it drops right onto your desktop, which is pretty awesome. That means you have all of your LLM capability in this interface for a LLM chatbot on your PC locally. And oh, the nice. bits never go anywhere. So great for privacy, great for having a you know, spotty internet connection, and you have all these AI tools available. But obviously one of the biggest sections that we're seeing in AI in general is the rise of agentic models. And now we're actually able to do, have a LLM do an action on your behalf. So right. I could have an LLM write me an email, but it can't send it. I would have to copy and pass it over. The agentic portion is, let me handle that for you. And the AI will actually use a tool to do that action as a result. So let me go ahead and show you in the yes, software please. here. Mm -hmm. And here what I'm gonna do is actually tell the LLM that I want to go ahead and generate a PowerPoint about Intel and about the market analysis around the AI PC. And so normally the LLM would be able to do all that kind of back and forth processing, but well, it needs to go out to get that information and right. be able to get the latest and greatest info. So here's where the agents come in. And while that's going ahead and processing, we can see that we have an MCP manager. MCP is model content protocol, mm -hmm. and that allows us to actually do the reach outside of the model to do those actions upon your behalf. Think of it as like an API 2.0, right. where it's made for talking with LLMs and AI technology. So it advertises what kind of service that it has, and based on the prompt, it'll enact those tools. So here we have things like, I can create a PowerPoint, I can do some flights for, uh, search for flights and hotels, and even do some calculations if I want to, and that's all built up around a large super agent. And so, as you can see here, it's making calls. So when I want to generate a PowerPoint, it says, bring me the slide master agent, because it's advertised tools to design as well as gain the information that I have from something like this. And well, just like that, we can go ahead and see the, uh, the magic of our results. Well, it's actually, it's still building while we go, but that's what we were looking for. There is the, uh, the actual analysis that we're getting for AIPC and still generating new foils that we have down the list. So just like that, it's done it for me. So the truly agentic portion that you're able to see, and again, this is an AI assistant builder, completely free. All of these tools are available for anyone to play with right now. This is great. I need this now, especially for work, because we have to, <laughs> Fair everything enough. has to be a presentation, so this is amazing. For us foil jockeys out there, this is a real game changer. But really, let's talk about the sizes of the LLMs that we have. Right. And really, in this new generation that we're moving to, to Panther Lake, we're taking the shackles off of the memory footprint that we're going to need to run these huge models that normally we would only be able to see into the cloud. So mm -hmm. to Today we're looking at about like three to seven billion model parameters is the largest that we can really put effectively inside of a local footprint up to 32 gigs of memory. Right. But now Panther Lake completely shatters those rules. So not only do we get larger raw memory that we can have on the platform, but also we can use Arc capabilities for our graphics and assign more system memory to it. And so for a 64 gig footprint, I can assign over 60 gigs oh. of memory to my GPU. And that allows me to run some big crazy models that we've never been able to run before locally. And so let me give you an example. Here's what we're doing for Vibe coding. Mm -hmm. And so I have a local model that it's coding a brand new application for us. And we said, oh, we want to run it into an Asteroids game. So yeah. give us a clone of the old school Asteroids. And as you can see, this is on a three billion model. We've asked it one prompt, create this game for us, and let's see how far we get. Are you impressed? I am very impressed. Yeah. I was able to actually create that, especially, you know, when it's just locally. It's great that it's doing yeah. local, but unfortunately, what if we were able to use a 30 billion model, 10 oh. times the size, 
And here is the experience that we get with one single prompt. We practically have a complete game already built for us. Wow. And so while that would take us a lot more work to get the, to on the 3 billion model, now it takes the shackles off of Panther Lake and the AI capabilities that you have. And now I can run models up to 72 billion if I want to. We're going we're to need some more processing before we get there. But right. for your 30 billion models, this makes this type of capability very usable for, a, for a, uh, any of us out there using client hardware for our AI capability. Okay, so here we have another example that you, you guys are showing here that we can be done for AI. Yeah, this is actually brand new. And so we're talking about a, the agentic AI experience, but then moving that into the browser. And so not only do you get a, basically here's an extension that we would go ahead and add on to your existing browser capabilities, and it actually goes back and connects to your local AI assistant builder oh, that we have over here. So now I'm actually able to go ahead and use these tools onto the web just like they would be local on my PC. In this example, I want to go ahead and go to a particular portion of this set of the keynote. Well, when using AI Assistance Builder's local models, I can actually use the browser extension to say, oh, find me the first AI section that we're able to see across here. It's going to run an entire transcript of LBT's speech that he yeah. gave a little bit ago. And then we're able to go ahead and parse to the exact moment of that and it'll advance it to the section that we have. Oh, that's but great. think of all the amazing tools that you have. Visual models, so I can go ahead and use actual UI clicks from my UI about where to go. And agentically, it's stepping in as me as being a human user. So this really gives them some cool capabilities. You're going to see a lot of this new capability for AI Assistant Builder with its browser extension from us very shortly, so stay tuned for more. That's awesome. Mark Craig, thanks so much for, for being here with us, and I appreciate you know, going through all these amazing demos with us. My absolute pleasure. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you.